हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पांडे गुरुजी जी यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस द इम्पोर्टेंट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विच इज द आस्क ऑन द ऑप्टम ग्लोबल सॉल्यूशन वन ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट लास्ट वीक ही अटेंड द इंटरव्यू ऑन द ऑप्टम दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ द यूनाइटेड हेल्थ ग्रुप कंपनी ओके सो दिस इज द रिलेटेड टू द हेल्थ केयर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो ही अटेंड द इंटरव्यू and uh, in the uh, front uh, one to one interview interview will ask the question uh, related to sales data so let's discuss what is the exactly question is there so the basically the question is the related to the uh, sales data so if you attend the interview uh, the interviewer most of the time they will ask the question related to the sales data related to the employee data uh the reason is the you able to understand the uh, question or you able to understand the what exactly the interviewer want okay so the basically they will use the sales data they will use the employee data all this type of the data they will use and they will ask they will put you the question so basically uh, they uh, put it three question uh, in one to one they put it the uh, Uh, more than 10 question but the uh, student is not able to answer this question so uh, the first question is the uh, which date uh, sold maximum number of the product okay so uh, i taken as example of this uh, related to the sales okay so uh, i downloaded this sales uh, data set from the kaggle you can also download just you can uh, type into the google supermarket sales data so you can find the excel file and uh, you can import the uh, data into the uh, sql server so i already discussed uh, how you can import the all the C, uh, excel data into the sql table so i have this table uh, that is the supermarket sales data so i have the uh, invoice id branch city customer type gender product uh, unit price so this is the column is there and also we have the date okay which date the product is sold okay in the market so the first the first question is the which date sold the uh, maximum number of the product okay so like each and every date some product is sold but some date is there where uh, maximum number of the product is sold out okay so you need to be figured out uh, the which exactly date is there now the second question is the which branch has the highest number of the sales so we have the branch column uh, a c a c you can see also b a b c three branch is there so which branch have the highest number of the sales who branch sold the highest number of the product okay now the third question is the related to the same uh, which branch has the highest gross income so sometimes the uh, branch sold in maximum number but the price will be less so which uh, branch generated the gross income is the highest okay so uh, this type of the question uh, you need to be how you can solve because when you attend the interview uh, you have the very limited time frame need to be think okay so you need to be increase the thinking power or uh, the logic okay so i will discuss how you can solve all this question uh, one by one so before starting uh, if you want to learn the complete sql or the practice the sql question uh, you can ju just visit my website studyiteducation.com so this is my new website where you can find the all the courses so right now i have three courses and uh, coming for the new courses for the python as well so if you really want to crack the next interview you need to be do more practice okay so practice question i have more than 300 question which is the totally based on this real time only okay so the cost is only 599 so just you can uh, enroll on this course and you can see here the course uh, have the total uh, total number of the 30 set so you can um, do all type of the question practices and in future i will more i will add more uh, question Uh, you can find the 31 32 33 also so if you practice if you uh, if you learn the self point of view uh, just you can go and uh, enroll on the download sql training video and uh, a real time interview question so it cover the complete sql training uh, it cover the complete sql notes as, uh, as well as the 
all the Im important interview question as well so if you want to learn the one to one also uh, you can enroll this course complete sql training i'm providing on saturday sunday so uh, let's start to this question and uh, let's see how you can solve this type of the question so uh, let's start with the first question is there so the first question is the which date shows the maximum number of the product so basically uh, they have if you question included the uh, related to the highest number of the count maximum lower like this type of the uh, keyword will be there so direct think about the aggregated function so i already discussed about the aggregated function under the my playlist so basically you need to be apply the aggregated function so the the question is which date so date is the basically main column name uh, which use into the aggregated function solve the maximum number of the product so simply you can do uh, group by clause okay because they asking uh, the total which date so you just you need to use the group by clause date column okay so if you use the date column here and uh, because if you use the date column if you use the star here it will throw an error okay so you cannot execute it i already explained in the detail in the training session so you need to be use the date okay so it will give the total distinct date how many total distinct date is there so total 89 uh, record is there so out of 1000 so in this table we have the 1000 record out of 1000 we have did 89 date where the product was sold okay so the question is the sold the maximum number of the product so next step you need to be use the count function okay you need to be find the maximum number number is there then you definitely you need to be use the count function okay so if you use the count function you will get the total count for each date okay so now you can see this is coming the no column name is there so you can give the one meaningful column column name like uh, uh, total count okay if i give the total count you can see uh, you will get the each date how many product it sold so each date you get the each date how many product it sold the question is not uh, answered next question is the num maximum number of the product okay which date is the maximum number so you you cannot review one by one here right okay so you need to be use the query only so now you can use the order by clause or okay order by clause two and descending order so two is the nothing but the column position okay so this is the first position this is the second position now if you run the code and if you execute it you can see 2 7 2019 the date which sold the highest number of the product that is the 20 okay so my next assignment in this question is the you can can you find out the uh, maximum uh, uh, can you find out the fifth position what is the fifth position of the uh, like maximum date where the total number of the product is sold so i've just given you clue just you can use the uh, count function okay and uh, you can put the answer into the video comment so i will review it and i will uh, can i will reply you that uh, you able to solve or not okay so my question repeating again the fifth what is the tenth position of the uh, date uh, where the product is sold maximum number of the product is sold like one two this is the third this is the fourth uh, like this is the fifth uh, this is the fifth this is the sixth position this seventh position uh, like uh, eight nine ten so what is the tenth position date it will be there where number of the product sell maximum okay so you can solve this question and you can put into the comment box okay now you can pause the video and uh, try to solve this question two question okay which branch has the highest number of the sales and which branch has the highest number of the gross income and you can solve the question and uh, then you can put the answer into the video comment and i will review and uh, you can also match the next i am going to solve you so if you're doing the practice in youtube just you can try to pause the video and try to solve it and uh, you can again see how you can solve this question so uh, let's start to solve the second question okay so the basically the second question is saying that which branch has highest number of the sales so here they're talking about the branch okay so same thing you need to be applied here so i'm just uh, i'm just copy this code here to save our time so you need to be do the modification here so here 
they talking about the branch so i use the branch here okay so if you use the branch so basically they asking uh, which branch has highest number of this sales so if you execute this one you will get the uh, which branch have the highest number of the sale so simply 340 have the highest number of the sale 328 have the second and uh, uh, so basically you need to be use the order by clause as well okay so if you use the order by clause here you will get the same answer because in the same format the uh, data is order so branch a have the highest number of the sales okay so to solve this question you can use the same concept now the third question is the which branch has the highest gross income okay so they are talking about the uh, highest gross income so you need to be just keep in mind that uh, you need to be use the uh, in place of the count you need to use the sum function okay and within the sum function uh, you can use the column name which is the gross income uh, column is there okay so just you can use the gross income column okay so if you use the gross income it will throw an one error okay i will tell you this is also the learning point of view okay the error is saying that operand data type where carry is invalid for some operator but question interview point of view is correct but if you running the code uh, in front of the interviewer and if the error will be come then how you can solve this error okay so the error basically related to the conversion error so if you see the table structure of this ta uh, is uh, this table so how you can see the table structure sp underscore help okay and put the table name okay so if you put the table name here uh, you can see uh, the table structure for the gross income column okay so gross income column have the data type is the where care 50 and uh, the aggregated function sum count average will not apply into the aggregated fun, aggregate or uh, not apply into the uh, where care column it should be either integer value it should be either float value so if the interviewer will ask you without changing the data type into the table because table is already created you cannot change it okay so how you can solve it to solve uh, this problem I already discussed about the conversion function. Okay, so you can you can go and see the playlist what exactly conversion function is there. So you can use the cart or you can use the convert function to uh, convert the value data type. So I will use the cart function, uh, cart column name. Okay, gross income. You can put the edge and you can put the float data type. Okay. So if you use the float data type and now if you execute it it will not throw the error okay so now you can see the highest number of the total uh, count is saying so now you can change the meaningful name uh, so you just you can use the highest gross income uh, just you can put the column name so uh, try to maintain not a space within the column name okay so uh, this is a good, very good practice okay because if you can see this column name have the uh, space i need to be use the bracket here so now if I give the uh, meaningful, uh, meaningful, so this is the G not H highest gross income. So now if you run the code here, so you can see the total highest gross income is the uh, branch C is there. So to solve this type of the question, okay, you need to be first thing immediate what function will be applied. And this will become only one uh, when you do the regular practices because without practice, you cannot solve this type of the question in the in the interview okay so just you can keep practicing uh, on my website here okay so uh, this website you can download practice and uh, sql question and if you have any question if you have any doubt uh, you can directly contact to me okay uh, i will uh, provide the all this detail in the video description and you, if you have any question if you attend the interview and uh, if you're not able to solve it, uh, you can put the question in the comment box. Okay, so I will pick up the question and provide the answer. So thank you so much for the watching. We'll meet again next video. Thank you.